Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to the all new course of Automation Framework Development with Selenium Java. This is an advanced series and we are going to talk about different kinds of tools and technologies like Cucumber, TestNG, Java, IntelliJ, MVC, SQL Server and so on and so more. Who are the intended audience of this course? Well, both QA and developers are the most important internet audience of this course. If BA are interested, they can still go with this course. What makes this course so special? And how is this course designed? Well, the curriculum of this course is designed not just by randomly picking some of the topics what I know. Rather, the course is evolved over a period of time by giving training to more than 15,000 plus professionals, both online and corporate training, and working on automation testing field for more than 10 plus years. Hence, the course is much refined version, meaning the course won't deviate from the topics of the course. What do you mean by deviating? Well, we are not going to deviate our course by taking the basic Java programming language or even the advanced Java programming language something like what is classes, objects, and what is generics, and how to work with interfaces, and how to work with the lambda expressions. Those are not the cup of tea in this course. Rather, you have to do a homework of understanding how to work with Java basic as well as advanced programming before taking this course. And we are not going to talk very basic about the Selenium as well. We will be developing the code from the ground up for Selenium like writing page object model, writing simple codes, and how to work with Selenium's custom control, all those stuff. But still, we are not going to talk about the very basic stuff, something like waiting implicitly, explicitly, etc. If you are interested in learning the Selenium basics with C Sharp and Java, along with some of the tips and tricks, then you should look at this particular course, which is free, and you can enroll and start learning some of the basic concepts of Selenium over here. And similarly, we will not be talking about a great feature of IntelliJ. Again, these are something which is completely out of the scope of the course, hence we will not be doing that as well. And we will not take some of the existing www website to test our framework. We will initially start with our Excel Automation demo site, but later we'll switch to MVC application that we have in our Excel Automation GitHub as well. So we're not going to talk about all these things. Rather, we'll talk about automation framework design and development. That's the course, and that's the intended purpose of this course. And that's what we're gonna talk about. So we will discuss about framework design and development before code, and also we will develop the code not just by writing some of the codes in any practice, but we will follow the industry standard while developing the framework. And also we will do code and best practices to develop a framework and integrating the framework with the application test layer and understanding the Selenium internal workflow as well while we start designing our own custom control for Selenium. So these are the great things we are going to develop along with writing our own custom test runner for Cucumber. So how is our learn path going to be? So the learn path is going to be something like this. We will start with understanding the framework and designing our framework and then we will develop the base components of our framework and develop the utilities and config components for our framework. And then we will switch our attention to the development of test layer of application. Once we're done with all these things, then we'll start an all new section for developing and creating our custom control for Selenium. And we will also see how to adapt those custom controls with our existing framework as well as our existing test layer. And we will use Cucumber for behavioral driven development within our test layer section. And once again, if you ask me how to learn Cucumber and is there any basic course for learning Cucumber with Selenium, you should probably look at this course. This is the Cucumber with Selenium Java basic course where you can learn the ABC of Cucumber and integrating it with Selenium. So it has a rich content starting from the introduction through integration with Selenium and also some of the reporting concepts as well. And this course has released just one month before and there's a great response for this course as well. And 
we are going to use the exit automation reporting system for our framework reporting. So we are not just going to create some kind of HTML report or Cucumber report. Rather, we are going to use the exit automation reporting system for our framework reporting. And it's going to look something like this. As you can see, the exit automation reporting system will have a rich reporting mechanism to store all the reports and you can see the different kinds of reportings will be coming in here and how the ASP.NET MVC application we are going to look like this is the application that we are going to use for testing our application once again if you ask me where this application is available this application is available in the github repository of exit automation channel and you can see there is a repository and there is an exit automation reporting system repository and exit automation web application repository where you can download the complete source code of the application and can i have a preview of the framework of course yes the framework which we are going to develop is going to look something like this you can see that our framework will have a base components something like this and there is a config components and there is a control components and you can see there are so many different classes available for each and every custom controls and there are internals and there are some utilities like cucumber utility database utility excel utility log utility and reporting utility and then after this framework structure we also have a test layer where we will have a feature files, pages for each and every application page, and then we have a custom runner, and then we also have different kinds of steps along with the testng.xml file. So these are the different kinds of options we will be discussing in this course. So this is the framework structure. So that's it. No more ends. Let's begin.